I'm Pam Wallenhurst. I'm the Education Director at Medford Arts here in Medford, New Jersey. I want to just present to you something I've been using for a while and show you some examples as well. UPO paper. UPO paper has been used since the 60s or 70s by many different artists and it's now accepted as a watercolor paper in the watercolor societies. So I just wanted to review to you some of the information that I have available. George James is one of the UPO paper masters that has been used um, exclusively. He's excellent at it and I have a video which I do use. He is an American Watercolor Society member, a dolphin, and also um, National Watercolor Society. Excellent artist. You might want to watch some of his videos or order them. Um, I get my paper from several different places. This is a magazine from Dick Blick. Uh, the paper itself is UPO paper. You can see it right here. Synthetic paper. And it looks like it's even on sale. So that is probably going to be the most expensive thing that you would have to buy is the UPO paper. And you can order it online. Dick Blick is a good example, but Amazon or any one of those online services. I don't believe they have it at AC Moore or Michaels. This is an example of UPO paper. It's fairly heavy. It comes in three different strengths. It comes in transparent, which you can see through actually, the medium and the, the heavy. So this is a heavy sheet. It's um, bendable as you can see, also has a shine to it. That's because the surface is very slick and smooth. That means when you paint with watercolor, it kind of runs and um, is somewhat abstracted and extremely fun to use. I can wash it off. I can start over. I can take some of it off. I can take all of it off. So what fun to kind of practice, get better, and have an exciting time with you both. I use a watercolor pencil to draw first, possibly if I'm going to be a little more controlled in my uh, painting. The watercolor pencil will come right off as long as you don't push too hard. With this paper, if you, it is plastic and if you do push hard, it will indent it. I use markers um, to make lines and also outline some of my work. Uh, hard pastel or hard uh, watercolors, uh, essentially you can come from a pan, you can buy the cheapest you want, just throw some on, let it go. Color wheel is always good to use to make sure you're using your colors correctly. So that said, let's move on to some of the paintings that we have available to us. Some of these paintings are mine and some of them are from the current show that we have at Medford Arts. Um, this, this painting above is a loose uh, UPO and you can see the colors meld very easily together. And then I believe there is some ink also added to the UPO paper. It's, it's very loose, it runs, and just throw some stuff on. The painting below it is one I did of tulips and I started the tulips I didn't like how it was going, so I started making these lines or marks up through the painting. Wanted a background, so I did some stripes behind to give a little horizontal look. This is one of mine as well. It is poppies, which um, I added some possible imprinting on that after I did the poppies. And as you can see, the backgrounds are many different colors, so it takes a little while to develop the, the way you want. This is an artist that we have here. Um, she won an award for her UPO and the painting itself, you can see where she's taken some out and put in different colors. The flowers themselves, um, were, the whites were left open and then she came and did that on top, but it's very loose and water looking. 
of mine um, that I did win an award at Garden State Watercolor Society. This is Guy and the look of looking up and seeing the different lights in the sky, just trying to get it to come out in this UPO paper. So some of that is sprayed on. If you wet your paper or spray it, uh, you can actually blot off some of the color. Fun to do and then just build it up from there. By building, I mean you have to glaze, reglaze, and you have to be very careful about it because you'll take too much off. This is a more realistic looking uh, painting. The, as you can see, the flowers have been painted in and the leaves. Um, so she's got a nice flow there with her colors and her flowers. More definition. This is just kind of a little idea about UPO paper and using that paper for the future. Come and uh, spend some time, buy your paper, get your paper ready, get your pencils ready, and we'll work on something together, UPO paper.